retrospective and a really thank you. And a really very, very happy to welcome you tonight. And this is our second event of the retrospective. And I want to thank our host, um, Peg Schuler Armstrong at Lincoln Center Institute for Arts and Education for having me. Yes. Just to give you a little bit of background for anyone who maybe didn't know Sekou, uh, but he uh, lived his whole life here, made all of his um, art here at, in New York, and many different parts of the city really shaped who he was as um, an artist and as an activist. And, um, and he really left an indelible mark on the city and many parts of the city and many people um, here. Um, he worked as a poet, as a performer, as a teacher, a mentor, uh, a, real, a musician, a band leader, um, a collaborator, an activist, and an all around very, very cool person. Um, and so it took really, uh, in trying to consider a retrospective of his work, um, I think it's kind of fitting that it would take a pretty sprawling seven month um, period of time with a huge diversity of events from intimate conversations like tonight to big large scale performances um, on main stages to music concerts, readings, workshops from the Bronx to Harlem to the Upper West Side to the Village, Lower Manhattan and Brooklyn where all of his stomping grounds and actually I hope all of you have a brochure with all of the events of the retrospective listed and there's a lovely map that really shows um, where he touched down and where he, what he called home. Um, this evening has really been long in coming. We started planning this almost exactly two years ago and um, we put a call out to uh, Maureen Knighton, Sekou's um, partner, longtime partner, um, to his key collaborators like um, the Black Rock Coalition and many other artists, and to the programmers and organizations that embraced him and supported his work, including Peg. <laughs> and, um, and as we asked them to, if they wanted to participate in this, it was um, everyone said yes. And that's how it began. It, it um, has, we're focusing on this year because this would have been Sekou's 65th birthday year. And we thought that would be a really incredible time to celebrate his achievements um, and to reflect back on the history of what um, shaped him as an artist and a human being. And also to really uh, especially look forward and embrace the artists who are continuing to implicate us and help us think about um, and imagine a better future. Um, so um, the retrospective really mirrors Sekou's practice from as it unfolded on stages in classrooms and in the streets. Um, and it's, uh, I hope, will inspire us to provide the kind of opportunities and platforms that all of these organizations and institutions provided for Sekou, I hope it will inspire us 